Unfortunately, the weather has us stuck inside for this week's San Marcos Minute, but we have a lot of information to share with you. It's all coming up next. I'm Christy White with your San Marcos Minute for the week of May 16th. This week is a council meeting week and we have lots on the agenda. You can view our agenda on our website at sanmarcostx.gov. Just click under Departments and City Clerk and you'll see a link to the agenda. Now if you are interested in any of the topics, please be sure to join us. If you can't make it, you can always watch online. We are streaming live on our website. We're also available on cable on both, on both Time Warner and Grande, so please be sure to tune in if you're not able to come out. And then of course we always welcome um, any input from our citizens. We have an opportunity for citizens to speak. All you have to do is sign up before the meeting begins at the city clerk's office. Now this Wednesday, we're getting fired up about reading. That's gonna happen at 10 a.m. at the library. The fire department will be joining the library for a big event to get encourage kids to read. So if your kids are interested in meeting some firefighters, um, or if they're interested in reading, this is a great opportunity to bring them out um, and have a little fun. Again, that's on Wednesday at 10 a.m., fired up about reading. And it's a little dreary outside, but hopefully the sun will come out because it's bike to work week, and Friday is actually bike to work day. City staff's already organizing some bike events for this week, but we're wondering what you're doing. So please share with us why you like to ride or what kinds of events you have planned for bike month or bike to work week. Let us know on our website, just hashtag SMTX bike to work or SMTX bike month. And then also coming up on Friday, it's Coffee with a Cop. This is a very new event with our police department. They're encouraging residents to get to know our police force. Um, just have a chat with them about issues maybe in their neighborhood or just get to meet some of our, our officers. That's going to be held from 7 to 10 at Casa Maria um, this Friday. Now, if you're not able to make that time, don't worry. We have a couple of other events coming up later this month. Um, and throughout the summer, so please be sure to find more information about that on the police department's Facebook page. Um, they have plenty of information there and we really encourage you to, to come along and maybe bring a neighbor. And then it's Preservation Month and our um, downtown Main Street office is actually working with our GIS department and they've put together a um, an interactive story map of historic places in our in our area. So if you're interested in the history of San Marcos and some of the buildings around town, please be sure to check that out. Um, they have information about it on their Facebook page as well. Um, also share with us um, the significance of some of the places here in San Marcos to you or your family. We're using the hashtag this place matters. Um, please find out more information about that, like I said, on the Main Street Facebook page, the downtown San Marcos Facebook page. And then finally, I want to share with you that we're coming up on the anniversary of the Memorial Weekend Flood. And we are wanting to honor the, the heroes and also the victims of that historic flood during a special flag raising ceremony. Now that's going to pl take place on Tuesday the 24th at 8.30 a.m. right here at City Hall. Um, it's going to be taking place at the flagpole. We'll be raising a special SMTX Stronger Together flag. Um, to commemorate the event. Now we also encourage everyone to come out. If you have an STMX Stronger Together t-shirt, please wear it. If not, just come out and join us. Um, this will just be a time of togetherness for the community. Um, and we, we certainly want to have everyone join us in honoring those who um, gave so much of their personal time and um, put themselves in danger to rescue others. And we also want to honor those who've been through so much this year. So we encourage you to come out again. That's going to be on Tuesday the 24th at 8.30 right here at City Hall. Until next time, have a great week.